Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, RDTV. We got another banger on the way. We're going to be watching Jaron Hall bring a young university quarterback. I'm going to take a look, see see what, see what, what the height. I don't even know if there's height. But I, I actually, I do like him. I've watched a couple of games so far. I'm quite high on him, I think, compared to where most people are. He's kind of my little bit of a sleeper in this class, if you will. But we're going to get more into that. I know I haven't posted in a hot minute. It's been, it's been a couple months. The last time I posted, we were watching Bryce Young and, and CJ Stroud uh, before, like, like maybe the beginning of the college. We were watching their 2021 tape. We're now in the 2022 draft cycle. 2020 or 20, We're in the 2023 draft cycle. All the 2022 season's done. We're just we're getting we're we're focusing on the draft. NFL season's wrapping up. Super Bowl's coming up right around the corner. But anyways, I'm wrapping up my quarterback evals. I'm not gonna like do a whole bunch of and i'm not gonna go ahead and scout 400 500 players this year i'm gonna keep it pretty concise i'm not even gonna go like too deep into udfas but i want at least a good little like top 100 to maybe like 200 so we got without further ado jaron hall today um, if you guys want me to maybe uh, make a recap video on, on the quarterbacks i've watched and rank them to where i have so far I can do that just leave me leave me a comment but all those all the evaluations that i've done so far are up on district scouting go ahead and check those out i got you know my grades on there i don't really have write-ups but again if you want to like talk about certain play you go ahead and comment and we can talk about it. i can elaborate a little more on my grades and what i saw from them but let's go ahead and get this game started right now we got jaron hall Boise State 2022 20, on the all blue field. I don't know if y'all think this is hard. Y'all see right here. The all blue field. I personally think it's hard. I like this jersey combo too. The all white BYU, the clean classic. And you got the, the all blacks from, from Boise State. But, but let's get into Jaron Hall's tape real quick. A little bit of an unorthodox quarterback. Not like your typical guy. We'll see what he's all about here. He's gonna come back to a dig that got covered up. You're gonna see the first play of this game. He's gonna show some of that mobility, some of that athleticism he's got. So he's looking, it looks like he's looking over here first. Have a little sail, and then he's gonna have uh, another backside dig, the drag flat right here, right? So this is an open. Opposite has though, this is tough. You really are gonna want a lot of separation if you're gonna make this throw. He could have let it rip. But he wanted to come back here, see if the dig was going to get open. If you know, typically you would want this linebacker to jump down right here, and this would be open, but he doesn't. So this route's covered, and there's really nowhere to go for with the ball after that. So still going to make something out of nothing there. The athleticism, I'm sure, is going to pop up a couple of times throughout this game. It, it does, um, does throughout the other games that I've watched from him. Not like this incredible 4-4, four, 4-3 four, four, athlete. But you see he moves well in the pocket. He can make guys miss. He's got he's got some, some decent speed. I mean, I would say like 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven speed, somewhere around there. But you see some quick games. Something I really like with him out the quick game is he's at, he has very good anticipation. And he is a shorter quarterback. I believe maybe 6 foot. And you see a lot of these short guys, right? Russell Wilson, uh, Kyler Murray. You see some of these guys kind of struggle in the quick game. But I, I, I think Jaron Hall has has shown some really nice things, you know, in the quick passing. And you see the anticipation here. This ball's out on time. Looks like an RPO. You got cushion on the stop route. The timing, the accuracy. A nice throw out there. Lets his receiver catch and then run with it. Right. Get some rack. You see the arm strength there. Again, we'll see more about uh, more on the arm strength on some of these other throws. You got a little play action. 
It's a good throw. This isn't open at all. Now, this check down is wide open. Uh, it looks like there's some contact. I think there's a flag. See a nice little step up in the pocket, though, under pressure. Throw it away from the defender's leverage, and he still completes it, it looks like. So, again, the anticipation, again, uh, one of the things I really like in Jaron Hall's tape. See the pocket movement. There's some inconsistencies overall with his pocket presence. I, I'm sure we'll see some of them, but that was a really nice job of stepping up, buying just enough time for him to make that throw on time and in a good spot. That was a real nice play from, from Hall right there. And you will also see BYU typically a spread team. They like to have their tight ends in there. We're going to see him make a nice throw to the outside. This route was wide open, a little crosser. Looks like a, a release. Let's go back a little bit. No, oh, no, it's just straight running across here. But it's like a rollout. They're good. They do this a lot where they're going to roll them out. Um, that's typically, you know, it's not what pro teams do a whole lot. I mean, if you're on a Shanahan team, you're going to run those play actions, those wide zone boots. So it's not like super rare. But stuff like this, these design rollouts, they like to get them on these. This is a nice little throw. Um, definitely had his backside read here, wide open. Still completes it though, still a good throw. <clears throat> Getting good velocity on the run. Again, I, I like his arm strength. I think it's, it's I mean, it's certainly draft, it's, it's adequate arm strength for sure. Hopefully we'll see some some bombs that he throws. Here we see him get involved in the run game. They, don't, they haven't done this too much from what I've seen, is, is these read options and having him as a design runner. But he can do it all right. That's, that's a nice little run there. Again, he's, he's kind of a smaller guy and he's quick. So he's gonna more so like make a guy miss rather than just outrun a bunch of guys. So he's got some sh shiftiness. I like him as a runner. And then he moves well in the pocket. And so you combine those two. You know, those are things that, that you like to see from an NFL quarterback, especially these guys coming out. Uh, you know, you see these modern quarterbacks that are doing well with Mahomes, uh, Josh Allen. All these guys can move. Like, they're, they're like no young quarterbacks that just can't move anymore. Um, and the ones that, that are those those traditional guys that don't run, they have been the guys that haven't been as good as these just freak athletes at the position. And here we go. Goal of some, some red zone offense here. Nice, nice little wheel route. And they're gonna bring in a motion. And good timing here. They're gonna run a little rub. Here's the first down. Throws them into a hit. Um, but again, good timing in the quick game. Like you, you see a lot of uh, of these these quick throw. Like this is not something I've seen out of every single quarterback in this class. I'm gonna be real. Some of them struggle with the quick game and are very late on throws and will we'll hesitate, not throw it. We'll see if, if he does this consistently in this game. Here we go, another design run. Follows his blockers, lowers the shoulder, dives in the end zone. A little more uh, involved in the run game in this one in particular. Nice to see a little bit of that. Again, good runner. We, we, we've already seen this on, on numerous snaps. But I really want to see him move inside the pocket. Right, because that's what you're you're really more so looking for in an NFL quarterback. Here we go. He's gonna run outside here. Tucked it real soon. Typically, he's been more of, of a guy that looks downfield when he's trying to scramble. This time, he just straight runs, takes off, dashes to the sidelines. I, I don't love that. I love seeing him like it's not an RPO. Um, and again, if you if you don't just tuck and run like that, you can hold defenders and create yardage that way. Well, a little bit interesting of a, of a decision there. Um, but I, maybe that's how they coached and Maybe they said, okay, you're going to look here. If that's not open, just tuck and run. But mm, it doesn't really seem like the case because he hesitated just a little bit. Kind of a weird play right there.
see how more spread looks. We're going to typically have this tight end off. All right, so a little out route. I think they're going to run a post right here and then have him running out. Looks like maybe quarters or no, they're rotating to a cover three. He doesn't really have a ton of outside leverage here, so this throw is going to be there. And not, a, not a, like a ton of separation. And we saw him pass up like this same throw. Right now, this is like a post, but it's like it's kind of the same idea as sale. You're getting this out route isolated and getting cleared out by some vertical. But this time, he steps into it, puts it right on the money. Like this is this is some some really nice accuracy, and, and this is a, also a really good display of arm strength right here. Opposite hash these out routes. This is where I really like to see accuracy. Right, to, especially to like these intermediate levels. Uh, look at that, that's some heat. And that ball's right on the money. About as good a, a, of a throw as you can, as you see on these out routes. Right, those, those aren't easy throws at all. You do not see quarterbacks complete those too often. Unless they're, you know, your first round guys. So, I mean, you see the traits here. They're, they're showing in this game the, the mobility, the athleticism, the arm strength. See him again getting on the run a little bit. A little bit of a sprint out left. Maybe like a miscommunication here. I don't know. Maybe it's an inaccurate throw. I think he came off of another read out here. It's all right. Again, here we go on the read option. Over to go here. Going to do a little dancing. nowhere to go there showing off some athleticism I guess really good game so far though like like pretty sharp stuff no bad plays there he is some time in the pocket pressure came got hit uh, pressure kind of got on him there from the interior he's holding on to the ball a long time here right let's see what they got going on low Cross. They're going to run just in break and stuff. He's actually going to run a post corner here. You got this dig. I think he's trying to throw this. No, he's trying to throw this out route here. I believe, right? So we got out route. You got a shallow to bring these linebackers down and then maybe get a dig in here. Um, also, again, has this check down open here. There's, there's a you know flat defender there. He, he, I mean, we've seen him pass up a couple checkdowns so far, but he's actually been very inclined to throw checkdowns. Does it a lot. Uh, that's a, a late release because he was in pass blocking, but the yeah, interior pressure is very hard to deal with in sense, especially because it looked like a clean pocket and you got a guy coming in. Uh, it's hard to deal with. I don't know if that's a fumble or not. We'll see from this angle. Yeah, but yeah, I look like the, uh, oh, let's go back here. Look like the, the dig was open here, this backside number two receiver. He's on a linebacker, beats him across his face. If he could have come back to that, because this is a long developing route. He held onto the ball a long time. Again, he doesn't even have leverage. Uh, in college, you can also contact the receivers past that five yard mark. Um, yeah, if he, if he throws this ball on time, it's a completion. Now he's coming off and covering this. He sees that. So, but he still could have got that one in there, right? If he threw it on time. It's a tough ask, but. And we're going to see. It looks like a very clean pocket. And he's going to win inside. Is that a fumble? Uh, can't really tell. One to see. Yeah, I don't think it was. But could have been a little dangerous there. Seems like to rotate their safeties a lot and then come down. See, they were like in a one high where he's looking like he's going to drop. This player ends up dropping deep third. Ooh. This is a good read. 
but a bad throw. He also kind of stepped into some pressure there because he wants to kind of step into here, but he steps into the pressure instead of finding this soft spot. And a little locked on to this read out here. Got an opportunity to to come back to this backside read, which was open, and he did do it, but it put a little late. Timing's off, steps into pressure, ball sails, should have been a pick. Some bad stuff like his footwork. Well, I haven't touched on his footwork, but he is pretty bouncy. In the pocket, you're going to see. There's a lot of quarterbacks that like to bounce these days. Um, so that's typically like not a good thing. I'm not like a, a quarterback guru who knows all this stuff. Like it, it honestly doesn't bother me too much. It might just like piss off another quarterback coach. So, yeah, don't like... I mean, disclaimer, I'm not a professional scout. I do this for like fun, basically. Maybe make a career, some type of career out of it. And have some some experience doing it. The first time we've seen him get to a check down, he likes to do this. Uh, nothing open. <laughs> this is only read. They had that. And sale was completely covered. Uh, a little bit of pressure. So good job there getting that out to his check down. That's kind of weird how they block that because it's almost like a boot, but they're running sail to this side, so it doesn't actually boot. It just stays there, and it's like the, the protection is completely slid. But, yeah, sorry. Also, I don't love it when it's to the like, field like that, especially when you got a guy with, with his arm. Or, that was to the boundary, not the field. But, yes, again, getting his check down, good read here. Again, they're going to run, well, really, this, this got open because this linebacker is playing there. Instead of the flat, they able to get that out. Um, he all, this linebacker also like blitzed. A little bit of a coverage bust, took advantage of it, got it to his check. And there we go, see him go through his progressions real quick. He's looking here. Boom, doesn't like it, check down, is open. Good job there. Haven't seen him like do anything too crazy with his progressions. We've seen him get locked on. He's been a little slow to get to his number two. He, he's definitely, he wants to throw to his, his first read, but we have seen him progress. It, it's not like he's just a one read guy, right? And you, and you see a lot of guys that are just one read. Hendon Hooker, for example, he's like, Basically, you, you, he's reading half the field. We're going to skip through these screen passes. But, yeah. So a nice little back shoulder there. We're going to get a flag. In terms of ball location, uh, I, don't, I, this, I don't know if this is a tight end. So, like, it's a bigger receiver. But he, he does have a beat vertically here. Like, you can put this ball out here. Um, I, I actually like the back shoulder. You got good leverage there. And again, does draw the flag. In terms of location, this ball can be more out to the sidelines. Uh, that's where the leverage was, and that would have made it an, an easier completion. Would have let him kind of adjust without even contact being made. But you get the contact. Ball's not completely off. It's an okay throw. I like the little shot there. To your big receiver. 97 is insane though. I'm, I'm talking about the jersey. 90 is that 97? Like, what? hold on, bro. 97 as like an uh, a a receiver, a tight end. Uh, mm. uh, that is crazy to me. I didn't even notice that until now, but oh my god. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, you got pressure. Uh, either throw this ball away or get this ball out right here. 
Which maybe what he's trying to, no, nah, I think he's trying to, I don't even know. He like throws it just right in between him and him. And right to a defender. Yeah, he completely had an opportunity to just throw the ball away. I don't know why he didn't, or I, like maybe try to make a play, make the, the pass rusher miss. Uh, yeah, that's really bad. This is like his first just awful decision. I mean, you, do, you don't really want to see that ever, but yeah, bad play. I don't know what to, to say. Maybe he was like trying to throw it away and then got like hit a little bit. I don't even know. <laughs> that can't happen. That can't happen. Like, ever. There we go. They're playing low in the box. Heavy formation. I think they maybe take a shot here. Oh, run a little smoke. Okay, we're going to skip through that. Trips to the boundary. I'm gonna throw out here again. The out routes. I love his out route throws. I love them. Again, opposite. We saw one earlier. Here we got another like opposite hash. Just really nice throw. This is like you know where where the arm strength pops. Right. We haven't seen him those those bombs on the field, but some nice arm strength there. Again, I do not like assume just because he's not super tall that he doesn't have arm strength. Some people just like think that. Like some people said Kyler Murray didn't have a good arm. Russell Will like some people say Russell Wilson doesn't have a good arm. Like when you're short, the ball doesn't look like it's it it's being thrown as hard because it's from a lower trajectory. But the arm strength is still there. Like you can still fling the ball. There we go. Nice little thing. This is called dagger. Uh, not like I'm not an expert on the cons on all these concepts, but you have that, and then again, dig clean on the middle of the field. Nice timing there, because you're gonna have this linebacker kind of drop. You have him coming out, playing of the flat area, of the hook zone. Uh, he. Gets inside of him, and a nice throw in the middle of the field. Nice read. This is stuff you expect, but again, the, the timing is one thing I really like with Jaron Hall. That's one of the best traits that we've seen so far. Uh, it's popped up in other games. He's got good timing. He can anticipate throws. Yeah, yeah clean pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not not throw. I'm just like jaw dropping over. I do like me a nice a nice dig throw, a nice 15 yard, 20 yard dig. Pressure. Mm. I think he's just throwing this out. Throwing this away, if I had to guess. Um, and probably could have easily come to this check down. Not, not really sure why he didn't. Uh, looks like they also messed up protection. I'm gonna bring in, bring in six. But the, the <laughs> I don't know what what he's doing. <laughs> what is the right tackle doing, dog? Like he straight up blocked no one. Uh, like uh, if you're blitzing, you you probably should be blocking someone. Uh, <laughs> no one blocks him for some reason. Those the backs in here. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, not a protection expert either, but the, yeah, they, they messed that one up. Yeah, I think he's just throwing this one away. Trying to read the defense. He, he had his check down now. Tight end's gonna chip, release out here. Could have thrown it, whatever. Throw it away, bad protection breakdown. Uh, don't make a bad play worse. Cliche ass hand, but hey. Mm. Oh man. Should have I mean they they didn't run a seam, but man, you got like this big linebacker out here. This guy's not playing middle field deep. 
this is this is something that he actually does and I don't that I don't really like when he wants to throw deep right here you got a little like seam out here it's pretty much doubled or you know they, they don't clear any of these other guys out right so it's, it's doubled complete leverage to the inside and he's trying to throw it to the safety's leverage and he does this a lot so it's not like Oh, maybe he just like you know thought he was coming down. Like no, this is something he d he's done quite a bit when he's on these deep balls. He throws to leverage, which is not what you want to do. You really don't want those ball at all. He throws this so far inside, there's just no chance. Like there's there's a chance of a pick, but like yeah, you want that ball to be caught. And he, he does that on throws that are deep to the outside. Right, so you know, if a corner is playing inside leverage here, he'll throw it like inside, and his receivers will get bodied up or whatever. I haven't seen him, like throw picks on that, but not something he loves. You, you will throw picks on that in the NFL. Here we got a little like mesh type of deal. And I want I want to see him test this linebacker. I don't know. He just looks like he can't cover. I feel. I feel like he's running right by him. He got a. He got a touchdown. Oh, uh, actually, he's playing over top. Okay. See, so, yeah, you get the safety kind of playing this. You can throw this so. Okay. That's fine. I still think he could have thrown the wheel. Maybe. Put it out to the sidelines. He's playing over here. Maybe. Ah, conservative read. It's fine. We'll say he is more he's more of a conservative passer than a downfield passer. But we'll get more into like the, the decision making aspect of his game a little more. But you can see there, more conservative decision. It's fine. Get some good yardage. But I'm out here. You got one on one out here. Interesting like, looking coverage. Oh, they're going to like sneak this. Or on a screen. Did he fall? Like, no, nah, I got that off. I mean, if you fall like that in college, you're down. But, eh. Yeah. Nice run right there. Nice little acceleration, boom. Hits that. Picks up some, falls forward a little bit. Got some empty now. Maybe playing a blues, they back off. Could have, like this is one thing with like his pocket presence. He will kind of roll out into pressure. Now they run a stunt, kind of fools him maybe a little bit. I and mean, he actually just does come free. Uh, nowhere to really throw this ball. This is really the only place he could have gone. Um, before the pressure came in. That's okay. Nice little, nice little boot. He's throwing. We don't, we don't guys see too much of this. In terms of a fit, I like him in the Shanahan scheme. I like his scheme stuff because you you want to get him on the move a little bit. He can throw on the move well. Run a little bit. Ooh. This is this is a good throw. Actually, not not a turnover worthy throw. It is a pick. But this is actually a really nice throw. You got this linebacker in here. He puts it up and away from him. Tight end absolutely sold that. This is actually a great throw. The anticipation, the accuracy. That was right there in the red zone too. That was, that was beautiful. Look at this location. That's right there. 
maybe a touch high, but. Should have been a TD. Should have been a TD, but the tight end sold. You got a flag or something? Why are they down here? And then they got to turn. I don't know. But they're back here in the right zone. Some empty. We're going to rush three. Get, that one's gotten tipped. A read off stick. Good read here. He's open. Probably not a touchdown. Would have been a decent low gain. I think this was tipped. Yeah. You see him, he's comfortable operating the quick game. He knows his concept. He's, he's just, I think he knows the offense pretty well. Allows him to execute the quick game. Ooh, that was a miss. Should have been a touchdown. He's open, puts it on time, but kind of puts a low in a way, and he has to come back and actually doesn't get a touchdown out of it. He actually might have. Might have been in. But a little, a little miss there. Might have thrown it also a touch late. You saw him hitch a little bit. Nah, he yeah, actually that's on time. Actually did a nice job stepping up. Pretty good overall there. Um, but yeah, you put you put the ball on him there, it's a touchdown. Put a little higher. Don't make him dive out of the end zone for it. Overall accuracy is pretty good. Pretty, pretty solid. We've seen him kind of miss. Um, he, I wouldn't call him like a, a pinpoint passer. I want to see. I want to see a couple shots on the field though. I feel like he did that mo a lot more in the other games. There's a nice little comeback. This was a tad late. It looks like good covered by the by the corner. That was a tad late, and they're gonna roll him out once it gets set. It's not a terrible ball, not great. Oh, like a design run there, that's a nice run. A nice little run right there. See some more of that athleticism. Boom, makes a miss in the hole. That's nice. That's that's DB right there. I believe that's your safety. One of the safeties. See some speed there. I I actually as a high end comp, I do like Russell Wilson. He, he just kind of reminds me of play style wise. He he has good downfield accuracy. Can execute the quick game a little. You definitely see some Zach Wilson in this game. It's in there. I think there's a lot of differences, but especially like the footwork and all that. Probably like a BYU thing, but but some of that looks similar to Zach Wilson out of BYU. It's a throwaway there. Looks like. Let's go back. Yeah, uh, nowhere to go with this one. I said, go ahead and throw that one away. Good coverage by, by Boise State. That should feel in the red zone. Now go empty. Nice little matchup here. Now it is too high. You got a receiver on a linebacker. Interesting quarterback draw. I feel like he's actually been better as a runner in this game than, than I've seen. But yeah, nice runner of the ball. I've seen this a few times already. I like what they did here because they're going to spread everything out and this player drops. Nice little look for him to, to run that. New drive right here. Mm. 
Nice on the run here. They're gonna run this and clear this out. Run a little deep crosser. Got him on a safety in quarters, looks like. Gets outside the pocket. It's a nice not a, really a boot. He, he got out on his own. Nice throw on the run there. Can you see the arm strength and mobility on display? Uh, and sees, is these plays right here why I, why I like him as a prospect. Like I, I do think he can, we'll talk about a drop projection later, but I, I think he can start like at, at least at some point in his career. I definitely has that kind of upside. I like a lot of things in his game. Look like almost a similar play. He didn't get cleared out. If he if he cleared out, ran or like a, a go ball here, it would have been like the same exact play, same exact rollout. Crosser, but yeah, nothing nowhere to really go with this ball. Guess maybe you could have thrown this. Yeah, I probably should have thrown that. I don't know if he came back to it. I don't know the progressions. Looks like he's looking over here. He's going to survey. I think he went through his, all his progressions. Didn't feel comfortable throwing it. I don't, I don't know. Again, the height is going to like play some... Like his height is going to be a factor in, in some of these middle of the field throws, right? You see this with every like you see this with Russell and Kyler. Those are like the the short guys, right? They have some troubles over the middle of the field. Uh, maybe it's with vision, um, not wanting to throw the ball because the linemen are, are close and there's like interior rush, which makes it harder to throw. Being a shorter person. Is a bad switch release. I don't, I don't know. They're running the same route here. A fine throw. This is honestly probably a pick in the NFL. If he breaks on that, but I don't know. Boise State's not going to have um, Derwin James down there. Pressure, nice getting that ball out, but he does miss. That's like the first out route he's missed. Seen him make a couple. Would have loved to see him make that. It was a good read and all. But again, the accuracy popped up like a, a little more than it has in previous games. But like I said, not a pinpoint passer. I think generally, though, we've seen pretty good accuracy from him. And, you know, accuracy is not a huge concern. But it's not something I'm, I'm hanging my hat on. I'm not going to pound the table for him as this super accurate quarterback. But as I say that, that's a really nice throw. That's a tight throw. Yeah, linebacker here. You got him all over the receiver. This is an open throw. He puts that on him. Again, the, again, the anticipation is showing up. Timing. Love to see it. Really, the, it's the timing and anticipation. I kind of group those in together. They're kind of different, kind of the same. I like the mobility and the athleticism. Uh, some of the pocket movement. You like the arm strength. Oh, look at that. Bam! Talk about arm strength. This is a laser beam. Oh, man. It's like a 40 yard throw on a rope. Oh, look at that throw. Absolutely ripped that. Nice pocket, too. I haven't commented on like BYU's like pocket a whole lot. It's very good. It's usually going to be pretty clean for him. 
we've seen some pressure. We've seen them had to have to move, but a lot of these throws are being thrown from a pretty clean pocket. And that was a big critique of mine of Zach Wilson is the pockets that BYU had were so clean. I think I think the protection is a little worse for Hall, but it's generally the same idea. And I'm, I'm not trying to like knock this throw. This is, this is a sick throw. But yeah, I mean, in general, he's thrown from these clean pockets. It's, it's just, it's not gonna be this clean in the NFL. This, it's gonna be more uncomfortable. There's gonna be guys pushing the pocket on you. It's not gonna be super pretty every time. It's another nice throw here. Did put this ball inside though. Um, was right on him though, and away from leverage. Yeah, and he's trying to throw with some anticipation. I like this throw. I like it a lot. My fault. Oh, there you go. Kind of floating away from pressure too. To where the line was sliding. That ball's on him. Oh, was there. That's a good throw. It's a great throw, actually. Starting to heat up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think this game is showing a lot of the good with with Jaron Hall that I've seen. Uh, just continues to back back him up as a like a little sleeper that I like. This thing, I think this tape's really good. Get nice little quick game stuff. Haven't seen too many blunders in the quick game. Again, the timing. Uh, he seems to have like a good grasp of the offense, right? Very comfortable in the offense. I don't know how long he's been in this system. A screen and it looks like they're gonna house it. Nice, a nice little addition to the stats. We're gonna skip right over that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, man, this is a little bit dangerous. He doesn't go, he doesn't bite on that. He threw it right by him. Hey, look. And if that's, if that's Fred Warner, that's a pick. If that's Fred Warner, that's a pick. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. But hey, worked. Again, this is what I'm talking about with the pocket. Look at this. Look how much room he just has to step into this throw. This guy falls down. He can do whatever he wants back there. And that is not something that translated well with Zach Wilson. And I don't like to be the guy that's like that scouts player on his helmet, right? And that's not what I'm even trying to do. But it's something even you know, I was I was lower on Zach Wilson. And it's partly because of this this pocket that he was given at BYU. I don't feel like that translates well. And we, we see it with Jaron Hull. He gets good pockets. He gets these, these like, just a lot of room back here. Just look at the room he has. He can step in any which way direction he wants. He can scramble and roll out and run. I heard us stand in and make a nice throw there. But just keep that in mind. Just, just be aware of the fact that he has very good pockets. Which, again, allows him to feel comfortable with timing. Because that's the thing with Will Levis. Right, not to get too deep in the Will Levis, but he couldn't trust his protection. Some guys can't trust their protection, and it, it hurts their game, it hurts their tape, and it can actually have like long-lasting effects that that bleed into the NFL. But I mean, on the other end of that spectrum, you got you know people that have such good protection in college, they can't adjust to the NFL. Right, it's a whole new game. Again, just just something to think about with with Jaron Hall and, and other quarterbacks we're gonna watch. We can skip over the screens. Okay, here we go. I'd love to see him take some of these shots. We don't care about sneaks either. Another screen. 
dang, they're eating on these screens. Look at this. But anyway, we're gonna watch this one. Another just chunk, chunk yardage on screenplay. I don't know if the if Boise State can't defend it or what. Read option. I don't know. I did not see them run this many like read options in the games I saw. I, I maybe saw a couple, but they've done it like five times this game. See if they take that one on one on the outside. Looks like they are. Corners all over that. This corner looks pretty good. I don't know. I don't know who he is, but he's looked okay out there. Had some tight coverage. It's like nowhere to really throw that ball. A little dangerous there. Maybe could have been picked. That's one you might want to just think about throwing away. Ooh. He might have a touchdown if he goes out right here. Maybe not. But he would have had this safety probably like one-on-one -on -one or something. Uh, and they kind of collapsed inside there. That's smart by BYU. They, or by Boise State. They kind of knew that were, they were, they may do that. So you have him here. And he got a couple of defenders out there that could have scraped. But yeah, pretty good defense there. Made it pretty tough in the red zone, I think, for the most part. Take young. That's a pretty crazy catch. Good location too. I think that had, that had a good location, good back shoulder location there. Like he could have caught it without bobbling it. Probably. Yeah, this is just a crazy catch. Man, that camera's shaking. That's like one-handed. He's getting interfered with. It's a crazy catch right there. Is that like for the game? I, I don't. I literally don't pay attention to the score in these. Twenty. Oh damn, that was for yeah. That was like a lead. I, I have no clue if they won this. Yeah, can't you got the camera shaking? Crowd's probably going crazy, and you get a crazy catch like that. But I believe that is the last play of the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and wrap this video up right here. Give some thoughts on on Jaron Hall as a prospect, right? I think this is overall like. You watched it with me. This was a pretty solid game. Pretty good game. Right? Couple high end throws. Well, there wasn't like a, 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 a huge amount of like high end per plays where I'm sitting here and, and, and like super, super impressed with it, right? There's one throw, like one really big time throw in the end zone that was really just showing off his arm strength. He had a couple nice reads, a uh, couple out route throws that I liked. Did, a, did some good stuff in the red zone, the quick game, uh, some some middle of the field stuff. Uh, got to his check down in a couple plays. Ran the ball well. There's a lot of good. There's a, you know, there's a lot of good, I would say the high end stuff wasn't really there. Now he, sh he shows it more so I think in other games. Uh, some of those downfield throws um, some better throws in the middle of the field like this was a pretty like methodical game right I mean we didn't see too much bad he threw an awful interception I think he had two turnover worthy plays right one of the interceptions wasn't his fault but he had another throw that should have been picked right it was a in-breaking route he overthrew it uh, kind of stepped into pressure but yeah, I don't, I don't think he he puts the ball in harm's way a ton from what I've seen. So I'm you know, pretty careful with the ball. He he has a couple 
turnover worthy plays in there. But the the main thing that is that is intriguing with me and maybe controversial, maybe something that, that people are gonna discuss with Jaron Hall is the pocket presence. I think there's some good and bad with it. I like the way he moves in the pocket. He's a sudden mover. He um, can step up, evade pressure, buy some time. He can extend plays very well. But some of the pressure sensing is a little bit inconsistent. He can, he will oftentimes roll into pressure, bail from the clean pocket, step into pressure. He's a little unpredictable with that in this game. And then especially with the way BYU sets up the pass protection and the and the clean pockets that he's given, we've seen that translate poorly with Zach Wilson. Again, it's something that I already didn't like with Wilson going into the draft, and I was lower on him because of it. It's an area of concern again with with Jaron Hall, right? So, yeah, I mean, in terms of the mental side of it, uh, nothing like too crazy. We talked a little bit about the decision making, the deep, the leverage when he's throwing deep, right? If he'll throw into leverage, we saw that I think one time. Not a great thing that that you want to see. Um, that ties into dishes, decision making and and some accuracy. But yeah, I think he's a good decision maker. I think the processing he he does make full field reads, but you don't. He, he's not Bryce Young. He's not. Um, Aaron Rodgers that's just sitting here knows exactly where to go know where knows literally knows where his reads are like at all times like he will look down his first read but he can come back to the second right he made a back backside dig gets just checked down I think he's a solid processor I think there's a lot of stuff in his game that's just very very solid and that's why I think that you know along he I think he has good physical tools I think he does some things at, at a potentially starting caliber NFL level. I think he does go higher than some people per, are projecting. That's just based on my opinion of his tape. We'll see about some of the rumors that come out, uh, maybe how he tests. I, I didn't watch too much of the Senior Bowl. Someone told me he did badly at the Senior Bowl. I don't know. Maybe he did, and maybe I should be lower on him because of that. But I, I like the tape. Again comment your thoughts on Jaron Hall or where he ranks where what quarterback is he for you um, I'm gonna put in my grades now and see where he comes out but he should be probably like behind Levis and around like the hand and hooker range right so that would be QB like five six I think it's a good spot for him I think he's mostly most likely a day two player maybe I like I don't I don't know if he sneaks into the first but probably, probably I, I feel good about him being day two, right? Some people maybe think day three. I'm going to stick with day two. So I'm going to head out for this video. Um, hope you all take care. I'll try to upload a video, I don't know, around maybe once every two weeks or so, maybe once a week. I don't know. Th these things take a long time to make rather than me being able to just go through the tape myself fairly quickly do whatever I need to do but anyways